Nanotechnology is a rapid growing field of science and engineering that involves studying and manipulating materials at the nanoscale level. The field seeks to create and develop new materials, devices and systems with unique properties and different functionalities. Nanotechnology is based on the concept that materials at the nanoscale level exhibit unique properties and behaviors that are not present at the larger scales. At this scale, the properties of materials are influenced by quantum mechanics, which means that the behavior of individual atoms and molecules play a significant role in determining the material's properties as a whole. The term nano comes from the Greek word for dwarf, and it is used to describe the scale of nanotechnology. One nanometer is one billionth of a meter, or about one lakh times smaller than the diameter of a human hair. At this scale, individual atoms and molecules can be manipulated and assembled to create new materials with unique properties. One of the most important aspects of nanotechnology is the ability to control and manipulate matter at the nanoscale level. Scientists have developed various techniques for this purpose such as scanning probe microscopy which allows them to image and manipulate individual atoms and molecules. They have also developed methods for creating nanoscale structures through self-assembly which involves arranging atoms and molecules in specific patterns to create desired structures. Nanotechnology and material science are two closely related fields that have had a tremendous impact on the world we live in today. These fields involve studying and manipulating materials at the nanoscale, which is the scale of atoms and molecules. In this video, we will discuss the history of nanotechnology and material science and their current and the future prospects. We will also explore some of the most exciting and impactful applications of these fields for the betterment of the world. So let's get started with the history of nanotechnology and material science. The roots of nanotechnology and material science can be tracked back to the early 20th century when scientists first began to understand the fundamental properties of atoms and molecules. One of the key figures in this early period was Richard Feynman, who gave a famous lecture in 1959 called There is plenty of room at the bottom, in which he described the possibility of manipulating individual atoms and molecules. And this lecture is often considered the birth of nanotechnology. Over the next few decades, scientists developed new techniques for manipulating matter at the nanoscale such as scanning tunneling microscopy and atomic force microscopy. In the 1980s, the term nanotechnology was coined and research in this field exploded. Today, nanotechnology and material science are among the most active and exciting fields of research in science and engineering. Current State of Nanotechnology and Material Science Today, nanotechnology and material science have many applications, from electronics and medicine to energy and the environment. One of the most significant applications of nanotechnology is developing new materials with novel properties. For example, scientists have created extremely strong, lightweight and flexible materials such as carbon nanotubes and graphene. Another important application of nanotechnology is developing new sensors and devices that can detect and respond to changes at the nanoscale. These sensors and devices are being used in a wide range of fields from healthcare and environmental monitoring to national security and defense. Now let's see future prospects of nanotechnology and material science. The future of nanotechnology and material science is incredibly bright. Scientists are continuing to develop new materials with even more impressive properties such as materials that can self-heal, that can change color in response to stimuli and that can store and release energy. In addition, researchers are working on new ways to control matter at the nanoscale such as using DNA and other biomolecules to assemble complex structures. These techniques could lead to development of entirely new classes of materials with unprecedented properties and functionalities. Next, let's talk about impactful and exciting applications. Nanotechnology and material science applications are already having a significant impact on the world and this impact will only grow in the future. 
Here are just a few examples of some of the most exciting and impactful applications of these fields. Medicine Nanotechnology is being used to develop new drug delivery systems that can target specific cells and tissues in the body, reducing side effects and improving treatment outcomes. In addition, researchers are developing new diagnostic tools that can detect disease at early stage. Energy Nanotechnology is being used to develop more efficient and cost-effective solar cells, batteries and other energy storage devices. These technologies could help to reduce our dependence on fossil fuels and mitigate climate change. Environmental Monitoring Nanosensors are being used to detect air and water pollutants, helping protect the environment and human health. Electronics Nanotechnology is being used to develop new electronic devices that are smaller, faster and more efficient than ever before. These devices are already revolutionizing the way we communicate and access information. Manufacturing Nanotechnology is being used to develop new manufacturing techniques that are faster, cheaper and more environmental friendly than traditional methods. In conclusion, nanotechnology and material science has come a long way since their inception and are now at the forefront of many fields. The development of new materials, devices and techniques has led to exciting and impactful applications from medicine and energy to environmental monitoring and electronics. As the fields continue to advance, we can expect to see even more impressive materials and devices that could transform many aspects of our lives. Keep on learning and subscribe to the channel.